Hi honeys, it's Michelle. I'm sitting in front of my closet. <laughs> my brother and sister-in-law, well one of my brothers and sister-in-laws, gave me a gift card for TJ Maxx slash Marshalls for Christmas. And so my sister-in-law wanted to go shopping with me when I picked out what I got. So we met up yesterday and we went shopping. I got more cuddling with the baby time in. <laughs> and um, so I gave her her, what was that, a Sasquatch, the one that said Idaho on it that I showed you guys. And she actually, this is so funny. So I stop at a gift shop on the way home. I see something that just, I have to get her. And she stops at a gift shop on the way home at the airport and sees something that she has to get me. So, I'm going to show you what she saw that she had to get me. Because <laughs> I just thought you could get out of it. That is so me, is it not? People I love, number one, cats. And then she got me this. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So I'm excited and I love that she got this. She doesn't even know that my kitchen is dark red. I just thought it was too funny that we each got each other something on our way home after just seeing each other at Christmas. But Okay, so I wanted to show you what I got. And now this is a huge haul. Um, I went to TJ Maxx with her yesterday. And it's a store that's TJ Maxx slash Home Goods. It's like one huge store. One side's TJ Maxx. The other side is Home Goods. Then this morning... I was thinking, gosh, I, there were so many good sales there. Like, I kind of want to go to another TJ Maxx around here, the one by where I live, and see if they have any good stuff that I can stock up on and sell. Well, then Brad said that he needed a travel bag. And I thought, you know, one of those travel kits for men's toiletries. And I thought, well, you have forced my hand. I'm going to go out shopping again today. So I went to the TJ Maxx down the street, and there's a Marshalls a few doors down. I went there, too. I mean, why not? Why would you just go to one? And that's where this huge haul is coming from. <laughs> so the first thing I got, this is actually where I normally sit when I do these videos. There's that stuff behind me. There's a, it's like a black cake stand behind me that we had bought for our table and for food, for salad dressing and, you know salt and pepper and that kind of stuff. And I put it into my background on the videos. And now that I wanted to start doing that nice meal each month with the table all made up, I really wanted to put the black one back on the table where it was intended. And then that brought up the thought of needing another one. So I saw this one and I thought this is actually probably better because it's just two shelves instead of three and the shelves are deeper and they're also larger. So I'm excited to get to work putting everything together there. There's a bunch of clearance stuff on the home goods side. You guys know I love owls and I saw this and I just had to have it. I've gone a little mug crazy. <laughs> I have an addiction. It's mugs. The brand on this is Spectrum. And it was on clearance for $2. $2. I want my $2. Do you remember that from Better Off Dead? <laughs> if you saw Better Off Dead, you remember the $2 thing. Then I found this, which I just thought was so cute and perfect for tea. I drink a lot of tea and I drink a lot of coffee, but I like my coffee in a big mug like this. And I like my tea in a little mug like this. So I had to have this. This was also on the home goods side. Did I tell you the price? It was a dollar. I got this for my background to go on that little cake stand I just showed you. Isn't this pretty? I thought, oh my gosh, I can put like a candle in there. But I just thought that was too beautiful to pass up. And this is, oh, handmade. Hmm. Hand wash only. 
Fabrique Alamein is the brand. And it was $6. Isn't that gorgeous, though? Then we went in the candle aisle. <laughs> I try to get candles that are soy or soy blend because, as many of you know, I have asthma. And my lungs just don't react very well to candles that aren't soy. And I've, I keep trying regular candles. And I just I keep not liking them. And I don't like the way my lungs feel. So I found this. It's a soy blend candle. Sensational brand. And it's called Make Waves. It smells like a starburst candy. Super yummy. I love the way it smells. And this was $7.99. And oh, it says it was made in the USA. In Florida. And then I got this big candle here. Oh, okay, it's the same brand. Sensational is the brand. Oh, okay, I thought is that what I said before? Yes. Okay, Michelle, calm down. <laughs> Tonka and myrrh is the brand or is the scent, and this one is twenty six ounces. Mmm, it does. It smells like myrrh. It smells like I don't know what Tonka is, but it smells like vanilla and some kind of a musk. It's like a masculine scent, which I'm. I really like masculine scents. I like woodsy scents and I like you know kind of vanilla you know kind of stuff or apple stuff and then I like stuff that smells like candy which is the first candle that I got. I found this winter forest hand wash I'm trying to see the brand here the Scottish Fine Soaps Company and it's just got the little fur and like a um, wreath on the Different. and if I remember correctly, I was trying to smell it through a mask so it was kind of it smells like pine it smells really good which we'll enjoy anytime so I'll just put this uh, probably in one of the bathrooms the next time we run out of soap and this was on Clarence for two dollars I found these on Clarence for two dollars as well um, I'm I don't know if I'll keep any or not. Maybe I'll keep one out of there, but I'll give the rest away. I got this Vintage Black by Kenneth Cole All Over Body Spray. Brad really likes these body sprays. And um, he's not really a cologne person, but this is pretty similar to cologne. And I think this stuff smells really good. Really good. And it, it wasn't on sale, but it was $6.99 for this. But it does. It smells very sexy. <laughs> very masculine. And then I ended up getting um, this. You know, I'll probably give five of these away. Oh, got little fuzzies on here. Probably give five away and then keep a couple of them for myself. These were $4.99. And then I also found this, and I'll probably give five away and keep a couple for myself. And these ones were on sale for $3. These ones are neat, though. This one actually looks like a phone cord inside, which, for nostalgia purposes, I probably have to have at least one of those. But <laughs> and we don't have it yet, but my other brother... Um, so I've got three brothers, but, uh, one of my other brothers, uh, and his family, they sent, uh, Amazon gift card for Brad and myself. And we have a, did I mention this? I don't know. I'll just tell you again. We have a microwave that died and we both had gone a couple years without a microwave. And then we bought this one when we moved here and we both kind of agreed that we don't really like the flavor of microwave food, I, I don't know, there's something that tastes different and it doesn't heat things all the way through the way an oven or a stove does. 
And so we just ended up getting a convection oven with um, the Amazon gift card. It's not here yet, but that's what we did. So we'll be using that, the stovetop, and then the regular oven in the kitchen. No microwave. And so I wanted to get a little bit stocked up on some little pans that are smaller. Um, so I got this. Let me just show you the inside. There you go. You can really see it now. And then it's got the little things on the edges here. This was $5.99. And it's a steel pan. 18 by 10. Is it 18 by 10? It doesn't look that long. Looks more like... I don't know. It doesn't look that big. But anyway, it says it was made in Italy. And that's all it says. But I just... I like the coating on there, too. It seems like it'd be easy to clean. And if I used foil or something, it seems like things would sit in there really well. Like the foil wouldn't slide around. So that was everything I got when I went with my sister-in-law shopping. Which was quite a bit of stuff, right? <laughs> then I went today. The purpose of going today was to... Yesterday it was more of like a just spoil myself kind of day. Today, since I was using our money, not a gift card, I decided to just kind of get stocked up on things. And so I found this Meyer Lemon Kitchen and Co. dish soap. And this was on sale for $3. And I, I've got this before and we really liked it and it lasted forever. So... Why not give it another shot? I'm almost out of my witch hazel. And it is, this one, this Thayer's one, was on sale for $4 for 12 ounces. And this is the original one, not the rose one. But I'm fine with either one. I do like my cellar water, but I also like toner, depending on what I'm using it for and when. Like, I like my cellar water at night before I put a serum on or something. But sometimes in the morning or during the day, I'll use witch hazel on my face. Then I got this simple micellar cleansing water, speaking of that. And I like to use this as micellar water all over my face, but I also, this is what I, I'll usually use this or the Neutrogena one to take off my eye makeup at night uh, before I wash my face. So this is definitely something I'll be getting a lot of use out of. And it wasn't on sale, but it was only $4.99. And this is, it doesn't say ounces. It just says milliliters, 400 milliliters, but that's a good size bottle. I've never had a bottle of, um, Simple's micellar water that's that large before. So good deal for that. And then I got three of these. It's Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel On The Go Refreshingly Clean Towelettes with Botanical Extracts. It's got aloe in it. And these were on sale for 70 cents each. And there's three in each little container here. It says, just so you know, if you've wondered what Witch Hazel is, this one says on the back, Tones Pores Removes and Balances Oil, Soothes and Refreshes, Helps depuff. Yeah, I feel like that. If I wake up and my face is kind of puffy, maybe I slept on my stomach a lot or something, it really does help kind of unpuff my face. <laughs> but I thought this would be nice um, if we're if I go with Brad on one of his business trips or something. It'd be nice to be able to wash my face with these. Um, so here's what they look like, and there's one in or three in each container. I got three of them. And they were on sale for 70 cents each. So that should really be nice to have. A nice little on-the-go thing. And I don't know what it is, but ever since the holidays, I just kind of feel like I need a little extra cleansing. <laughs> and um, so I wanted to go ahead and get these apple cider vinegar supplements and these are new forma brand there's 60 of them in here and they're gummies and one serving is two gummies so if i took them every day uh it'd be good for a month and these have hmm 
Fascinating. These have maple syrup and chili pepper in them. And they're made in Miramar, Florida. They were $6.99. But I thought maybe this will just kind of help cleanse me out. <laughs> hey, we're all human. We all need to do this sometimes, right? Especially after the holidays, all the different foods we're eating. And I found this really soft baby blanket. This is really nice Sherpa. And it was on sale for $4.00. And you know when I'm filming and the cats get up on that cat tree? They've had that cat tree a long time. And it's got to the point where when we vacuum the top of it, it's just all, like you can't get all their fur out of it anymore. It's It's been that long that we've had it. And I wanted something that I could take off and wash. Um, but I also thought it would be nice to add a little bit of cushion up there because it used to be cushioned and now it's just totally flat. And I don't know how that's even comfortable for them. So... This little baby blanket is for the kitties. <laughs> but I think they're going to love it. And I keep feeling like I really need to reorganize my vanity. It just looks ugly. It's too, There's too much on there. And what is on there just doesn't look nice. And so I wanted to get something to kind of help me organize a little bit. So I found this little... I found this little organizer thing and I can put um, different toiletries and stuff in there. Perfumes and lotions, lotions and that kind of stuff. Um, I wanted one that was big enough to where I could put perfume and lotion and all that extra stuff in it. I already have one for makeup, but I want something else for the other stuff. Um, and I got this on sale for $6. I got Brad's travel case. The brand is Inpel, made in Italy, and it is genuine leather. It's actually really nice. It's got a zipper on the front, a zipper on the back, and then it's got two zippers uh, to get into the main area there. And, um, and then it's got this nice little carry thing. But this one, it was, they had no male travel cases at all and I asked the girl you know do you have any and she said oh I'm sure we do we always you know we're kind of known for that right and I said well yeah I guess you are so she, she took me over to the women's one she thought maybe the men's ones would be there and I told her well even if even if it's a woman's one if it's big enough and it's black or it's brown or you know doesn't look feminine I don't think I'll care but they were all you know pink and purple and there's no way so she said, well, hold on, let me go see if, um, if anybody in the back knows where they are. So she went in the back and she found what, this one, it was the only one they had back there. Um, and it was still in like the plastic and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, she brought it out to me and I thought, I'm just going to take this. Otherwise I'm going to have to drive all over the place looking for one. People aren't really traveling right now, but you know, Brad's an essential worker and he does still have to travel whether we like it or not. <laughs> this was $20. I guess it's not bad though for genuine leather. I mean, it was a little more than I wanted to spend, but at the same time, it was the only one they had. I found this uh, aloe vera infused essence mask with vitamin A and C. And it's a set of five made in Korea. You know what, what I'll probably be using these for. I probably won't actually use them for myself. But I thought these were really nice. And they were on sale for $3.50. Then I found this Vera Bradley Post-it Note Set. Isn't this cute? I got it for my mom. <laughs> so mom, this is going to be yours. It'll be in your next little package I give you. I just thought that was so cute. And it's got that cute Vera Bradley box, too. And it was only $3 for this. It was on sale. But I thought that was nice, the box. It's got the little dividers in it. So even if you use them all up, you can replace them if you want to keep your box. Or you could put, I don't know, earrings and jewelry in the box. Might be kind of nice. Um, and then the last three things I got at TJ Maxx are for me. 
and uh, they're splurge items. They're not stocking up items. It's just me spoiling myself. <laughs> I found this Nicole Miller lipstick collection. It's got four lipsticks in it, and it was $3 on sale. I'll show you each of the colors real quick here. I can get it open. I love it when these little stocking stuffer gifts go on clearance. After the holidays. What's nice too is this box. I'm just, when I take all this out, I'm going to keep this and put it in my drawer to organize makeup and stuff. I love upcycling things. I love reusing things. And I thought, this box is so pretty that... It really would be nice for that. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that nice? You just toss it in the drawer and fill it up with makeup and stuff. And that little insert I could take out if I need to clean it, too. So that'll be really nice. I'm excited about that. <laughs> okay, let's check out these lipsticks. I have, I've been thinking about this a lot, when I, especially looking at all these sale items. What do I want or need when it comes to makeup? And the truth is, I've got to wear... I'm not wearing as much makeup as I used to. I'm just not. I'm just going for more of a natural look. But one thing, especially when I film, that I am still wearing is lipstick. But I'm kind of getting out of the lip glosses and into the lipsticks or the... Um, those ones that kind of look like a crayon, like a lip crayon. And then if I want any kind of shine, I can put lip gloss on or lip balm or lip oil or whatever. So here's the first one. What color is it? Does it, it doesn't say what color it is. Oh, okay. It's kind of strange. a really light color kind of a kind of a mauve color it actually looks a lot like the color I'm wearing right now so it kind of almost seems like it's got a little bit of a gloss or moisture in it yeah so here's the second one right here it's kind of a cranberry color if it looks like somebody's used it, it's because I just rolled it over my hand. It didn't come out looking that way. Then there's this color. It's just a nice, pretty, like a petal pink color. And that's the kind of color um, when I have no makeup on and it's just a regular work day at home. Um, and I'm not filming or anything, I still wear lipstick. I don't like the color of my lips naturally. They're just way too pale, right? So I usually will wear something like that all the time. And it just lights it. Oh, it just lights up my face. It makes me feel pretty. Oh. <laughs> this last one didn't make it through shipping very well. But I'll show you the color. I don't really care. Oh, you know what? It's really beat up, but you know what? Um, that's weird. It didn't didn't look like it had been opened at all. But when I went to open it, all of a sudden it just kind of fell apart. I don't really care if it's minus one. I'm happy with the other three colors, so I'll just toss that one since it's. But yeah, it looks a lot like that cranberry color anyway. So no big loss. So I've got three lipsticks for three dollars, and I'm very happy about that. Then. Hold on, let me get some coffee. If you were to guess, if I were to get something strictly to spoil myself, what would it be? Might it be Golden Girls related? Yeah, it probably would be. <laughs> the Golden Girls, a guided journal. <laughs> what? Okay, we're going to take this. We're bringing it home. 
write a letter to your younger self here. What do you need to say? Um, I don't know if one page is enough, but uh, one of my favorite scenes. <laughs> so there's pictures of them all throughout. Rose loves classic St. Olaf games. What's your favorite childhood game? Why do you love it? So this is one of those guided journals that's just kind of for fun. Nothing real deep or heavy. Um, so this might be kind of neat as a way to pass the time if you're um, bored or um, for me personally, the reason I got it is um, I have a problem with anxiety and I get panic attacks and sometimes when I get really panicky I just need to think about something else like, like and it's it's weird because usually when I have panic attacks it's not that I'm thinking about anything I just panic but if Brad's here and he's telling me a story or he's talking to me he gets my mind off of the panic it really helps but if Brad's out of town the last time I had a panic attack, it was a big one. It was multiple for, for about three or four days. I kept having them. They were really bad. Almost to the point where I almost went to the emergency room because my blood pressure gets so high. Anyway, I didn't have him here to talk me down to get my mind off of it. And I have a hard time reading when I feel like that, so I couldn't just open a book and read it. And so that's what this is for. Um... But it's got a bunch of pictures in there, too. But I thought a guided journal might be kind of neat. So here I am panicking. I get to look at the Golden Girls, which they always cheer me up anyway. And then it's like, okay. Um, next page. Blanche loves to gush about her first time. What was your mo most memorable rite of passage? Okay. And I'm going to think about that and write it down. And I bet by the time I'm done writing out that page, I'm going to feel more calm. So I'm really excited about having this journal and that's what it's going to be for me is panic attack relief. <laughs> um, and I got this on sale. It was $6. And if you want to find one, um, this is made by running press. I'm sure um, if anybody's interested, I could probably go online and find a link for this. In fact, just in case, because I know a lot of people are struggling with anxiety. Um, I'm just going to try to find the link for this and, and put it down in the comments, just in case you want to get this for yourself or someone you know that loves the Golden Girls, or even if they don't, just to get their mind off of, like, anxiety. Oh, it can be so intense, you know? <laughs> and then the last thing I got at the TJ Maxx today was a Golden Girls coffee mug. <laughs> it's 11 ounces, and it was uh, $5.99 for this. It's hand wash only, which I don't mind hand washing mugs, but they had another one, and I really wanted to get both, but I thought, okay, how many mugs do I need? And I just got two mugs yesterday. <laughs> how much do I need to spoil myself? But the other one was, I think it was white, and it had a drawing of each of the girls on it. And I wanted... The pictures of them. And I like this too. These lines right here. I mean, it's so 80s looking. You remember, right? <laughs> but the pictures of them to me just really seals the deal. I just love them so much. And I, I do prefer the black mug anyway because, like I said, you don't have to worry about the staining and all the ugliness and all that. So we're going to we're gonna just stick with this one mug. But um, it's pretty cool that they had two of them there. So I, I don't know what it is. TJ Maxx, I just keep finding... Golden Girls paraphernalia in the TJ Maxx near where I live. Not the other TJ Maxx, it's just that one. But I'll take it. I will take it. Hey, we're getting close here. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me this long. I just, just been having so much fun, you know, going shopping. I went to Marshall's, like I said, and I didn't get too much there, but I found Pureology Refresh and Go Dry Shampoo. Which Pureology is such a good brand. I love their shampoo, but it's so expensive. It's like $30. And um, this was on sale for $8. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and splurge on that. I don't usually even spend that much on dry shampoo. I usually spend a couple dollars at most. But I would love to try some really nice dry shampoo. Then I found this. Uh hand sanitizer. It was up by the register and it was on sale for $2. And it, oh, it's Giovanni brand. Okay. Well, that's a really good brand. 
I saw that it has vitamin E and chamomile and aloe vera in it, and I thought, that sounds really nice. I just wanted to get something like this because one of the things I got in my stocking from my dad and my stepmom was like a small hand sanitizer and a little container, and it like hangs off, you know, your purse. And I really have been enjoying it. However, I'm almost done with this hand sanitizer in it already because I use so much of it. And I thought this would be really nice. I could just pump it in there and fill it up. So that's what that is for. I've been using pink Himalayan salt when I cook. And I have been wanting, wanting, wanting a salt storage box. And uh, I've been using a plastic one. And it's just not... Not very, you know, I just like an old Noosa uh, yogurt container that I've just kind of upcycled and have been using to store salt in. And it's just not the same. Um, so I wanted, really wanted one of these and I've been looking for them. And on Amazon, they're like $13. I found this at Marshall's for $4.99. And it's just, oh, is there a tape on there or something? No. Oh, okay. That's right. I grabbed this one. It's a magnetic one. So it just slides open and close. You can't take it off. The other one I looked at, you could actually take off. So I was trying to pull it off because I thought it was that one. But it's made out of bamboo or organic bamboo, organically grown bamboo. Very nice. But I really like bamboo products. Anyway, I'm, so I'm very excited to have this when I'm cooking now because I like to just kind of get the salt and then go like this or... Um, use my little teaspoons or whatever in it. And I found these on sale for $3. And I've just been in love with these ones that kind of are like a teddy bear. They're just so soft. And then I thought, well, these are cute. I'm sure I could find some outfits that they match. And for $3, my gosh. I mean, can you beat that price? Probably not. I don't know what brand these are, but... CNC, California. And then there's one more thing that I got. I always look for these by the register, um, especially since I'm trying to kind of do a cleanse right now. Um, one way to, to really help with a cleanse is to eat um, seeds and nuts and that kind of stuff. And they had this Peak on the Go Trail mix, uh, Mega Omega. It's got walnuts, dried mango, almonds, cranberries, and pumpkin seeds in it. Right? I mean, that's really nice. And it's got, um, so a serving size is a quarter cup, and it's got 16 servings in here. And what I like to do with these when I'm trying to do somewhat of a cleanse, um, you know, because mine are probably a little different than what other people do, but I will use the serving amount. I'll measure it out. And then I'll put one of those little pieces of like the aged cheddar in there and, and then I eat it and that's my breakfast usually with some coffee. So 16 breakfasts, I will take it. And it was $5.99 for this, for 16 breakfasts or 16 servings. That's really a good price, 17 ounces. I'm really happy about everything that I got. I don't know what the total for all three places was and I don't know if I want to know. Of course I really didn't spend anything at the first place because of the gift card. Let me know what you thought. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. I love you. Bye.